Remain. And this is my friend, Luke Spencer, who is more than a cook and bottle washer, believe me. I'm sure he is. Hello. Hello. You must have a truly perverted passion for this place. This is twice in one day you're hanging up here. Well, actually, it is a little perverted. I was here once for business and once for pleasure. I like to uh, divide things up that way. Hmm. Huh. I had no idea that you were related to the Quartermans. Really? What did you think I was to Edward? So, am I missing something here? I'm not that kind of girl, Mr. Spence. I'm sorry I didn't say what kind of girl you were. I meant nothing negative. Well, sometimes a look can speak volumes, dear. You misunderstand my looks, dear. Well, hey, am I missing something here? Have you two met before? Yes, we've met. A time or two. Actually, we met three times, but who's counting? Are you sure? Oh, I'm absolutely positive. You don't remember how disappointing. The last time was not too far from here. A foggy night on the waterfront. So we did. I had forgotten. We met twice and then a third time. I had forgotten about the waterfront. Well, well, what do you know, old buddy? I thought I was introducing total strangers, and it seems as I'm introducing old acquaintances. So we'll uh, make a point of letting you know about it. Oh, I see. You don't want to tell me. No, it isn't that. I just haven't decided. Well, you should. Time passes very quickly. I wait for sudden inspiration. Well, I hope you don't wait before you're old and gray. But in the meantime, I have a confession to make. Go for it, my child. I'm afraid you're going to think me rather devious, but I took a taxi here tonight so that I could ask you to drive me home. Ooh, that's devious. Yes, I'm afraid it is. And I'm very ashamed. And would you drive me home just to appease me? You're not ashamed. No, I'm not. Will you? Having no shame myself? Yes, I will. Good. Fine. I'll tell Rose I'm leaving and we'll find my car. Where's your car? Uh, parked a couple of blocks away. I hope you don't mind a small walk. Not at all. Maybe you come in and have a nightcap with Edward and myself. I know he'd like to talk further with you about the job he offered you. Mm -hmm. And maybe you just might change your mind. What do you think? I think you should turn your collar up. It's cold this time of year on the waterfront. Don't worry about me, kid. I'm fine. I am worried, darling. Okay. And my thing? Yes, sir. You cold? No. It's a bone, I'd say. Mm -hmm the dampness. I'm very glad I met you again. Are you? Oh, yes. I've been curious about you. Have you had your curiosity satisfied? No, not yet. Not by a long shot. Well, what about me makes you curious? Everything. You have to admit, you know, a woman who kisses a stranger and then disappears into the night arouses a certain amount of curiosity, among other things. Well, I apologize for giving you the wrong impression. You caught me crying. It was very provocative. It was in a moment of weakness I had my guard down. I can promise you it won't happen again. Well, it's perfectly okay to let your guard down now and then. Not for me, it isn't. What are you, the world's champ? You gotta keep your guard up to defend what? Yourself or what? All the time? What? Well, it's my title. I see. Why did you come back to Kelly's Diner tonight? Why? Hmm? Well, I can guess what you're thinking or what you'd like to think. But you're wrong. It wasn't personal. Spencer's luck. Let me correct that. It was personal, but it wasn't intimate. It's just that Edward and I need someone very badly for this job. Yes. Edward mentioned that. And when he mentioned it to you, I'm sure you thought it was underhanded, and that's why you said no. Am I right? I don't know exactly. Or you probably thought it was out of the ordinary, which made you suspicious, which made you turn it down. Am I right about that? Now, that's possible. You know, you've got to stop being so sensitive. Not everybody in Port Charles wants to take advantage of your notoriety, you know. No, actually, Alex, I don't know that, no. Well, I can assure you that Edward and I wanted you for this job because it's highly confidential work. 
And we needed somebody that could land on his feet. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm famous for that. Edward thought so. And you don't think Edward Quartermain would ever get involved in anything that was the least bit shady now, do you? No, I don't. I don't think Edward Quartermain would. His niece, Alexandria, however, I'm not so sure about. You're staring at me. That's not polite. Sorry. I've never been well known for my social graces. I keep asking myself, what is this woman capable of? You know, the answer I come up with, almost anything. You're probably right. Just as you're capable of almost anything. Kind of makes us two of a kind, kind of. Something's been puzzling me since the day I met you at Frank Smith's office when I told you I was leasing a suite. What? Why did you walk away so quickly? I don't know exactly. Any guesses? Yeah, maybe I was running away from the past. Well, I hope not. Because you know what? You can never get away from it. It hops the next cab and it says, follow that person. And then when it catches up with you, you can never get away from it again. Methinks the lady professes to be an authority on the past. Years of experience. I can even give you references if you want. Oh, no, no, please don't do that. References lie. I'll take your word for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask you a question. May I? That's fair. The night I saw you here, why the tears? Oh, I don't know. Things I regret. The mess I've made of my life from time to time. Oh, come on, Alex. We all make messes of our lives from time to time. That's what living's all about. That's no reason to cry. Well, I thought it was a pretty good reason that night. Okay, well, you've obviously recovered well from your tragic mistakes. Of course. Onward and upward. Don't worry about me. Okay. You know what I think? What? I think you're very sorry for losing Frank Smith's empire. Well, I don't think anybody gives up opportunities like that without a modicum of regret. How would you like to get it back? I'd like that very much if I could earn it, legally. Good. Then why don't you drive me home and talk to Uncle Edward more about the job. I can assure you, it's clean and it pays well. And if you talk to him more about it, maybe you'll change your mind and say yes. What do you think? Where's my car? Hey. <laughs> 